So when it comes to Markdown, and we'll go back quickly to the file that has the markdown.js. If we come back here, we do see that the content.replace does have a regex here. And we need to understand what this regex is doing. So we're going to head on over to a quick tool called regex matchmaker, which is just called regexr.com. This basically shows us what's good and what's bad. And how you can tell is by just doing specific things. Like let's say you're trying to test it out. If you try to do something, it continuously says no match is found until you do have a match. So in this case, when it comes to the regex, what we could do is we could just do brackets with the parentheses as well as a bang in front of it. And what this does in Markdown is this just allows you to put in a URL and then it truncates it. So you can click on the URL and then it'll access it through the browser. In this case, that's all this regex is doing. As we could see, we have matches one as well as it's being highlighted on this. Again, if we do try to remove this bang, we can see that that match now goes away. We now have zero matches as well as nothing is being highlighted.